Hello again. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so there's been a few questions on just uh, uh, from my last video on what to do and how to become a medic. So uh, this is just going to be a really uh, short and sweet video. Um, so basically in order to start um, as a medic in the industry, um, you have a few options. You can start with your OFA3, which is what I am. It's a two-week course. Um, I took mine through Fax and Vernon. Um, I believe it was $900 or something for a two-week course, so it's really good. It is very fast-paced, like you have to learn very quick. Um, basically, for the two weeks, it's go to school, come home, eat, sleep, study, and go back and go to bed. Like, go, come home, study, eat, go to bed for two weeks straight. So it is very stressful. The course is very difficult, um, but if you... If you, if you just like study and stuff, like you're going to pass, no problem. Um, so you can take your OFA 3, uh, which is what I did, or you can just go straight jump into an EMR. Um, it really just depends what your, what your goals are long term. Um, yeah. And then after that, you're going to have to take your H2S. And that's just a one day course. I believe I paid $240 for it or something. And then you just need your TDG and PST tickets. And you can do both of those online through Enform. So it's super easy. Um, I think I was up and running and ready to come to work within like a month and a half. Like, And that was like taking extra time off. And then all you need to do is buy um, a rim hat. Um, a rim hat. <laughs> like a hard hat that has like the rim around it mine's over there I'll probably do another video <laughs> with it um and then uh for PVE you need safety glasses and gloves and coveralls and steel toe boots that are SA approved you can also get um they have like these big uh mud boots kind of thing <laughs> oh my god um yeah so that's basically it that's all you need and um if you need a job, I can most definitely get you one through my company. Uh, the differences between companies, uh, my mom's also a medic, um, and she works for all these different companies. Um, the difference between, um, like, staying with one company, like, my company always has work. Like, I work for Octane Safety. Uh, we always have work. Um, there's never really a shortage. So I know, like, long term, like, I'm never going to run out of money. Or like not run out of money but like like run out of work so that I'll always have like in income coming in um, whereas like if you're working for different companies like you're kind of bouncing all over the place um, and I don't really like that my mom does just because she doesn't really have like like having a set schedule whereas with me I basically sign a contract I'm not really allowed to work for other companies while I'm with Octane um, not that I'd really want to anyways I love Octane it's a great company um, so, I mean, if you want a job, I can refer you. So, you know, um, yeah, so that's basically it. Go get your first aid, your H2S, your TDG, and PST, and get your ass to Alberta and start making some money.